we're trying to get a handle on um, the ecological function of the salt marsh um, and how modified that is by man. We're trying to understand whether the system is threatened by invasive or alien species. We're looking at the naturalness of the habitats on the salt marsh and the way we do this is by recording the communities of plant species that occur at different distances um, from the tide, from, from the seaward edge to the landward edge. No plant really likes being covered in seawater but some are very good at uh, withstanding it uh, and they often have adaptation to that, such as being succulent. I think what interests me about the salt marshes is it's unusual. It's like, it's like no other place in the sense that it's below the water and then it's in the air. And it has this daily rhythm of that. So there's a, you know, and nothing can survive there that is not adapted to that environment. So I don't, I don't yet know really what that becomes in the sound and the music. Um, but I'm, I'm quite fascinated by that. And there's also something about, um, one time I was down here and I had this uh, experience of seeing the tide and the river flowing in opposite directions at the same time. And looking out over the river and there was this one movement going, <laughs> going this way, I was going that way over there, and then the other movement going the other way. The salt marshes are the places where this kind of magic happens. <laughs> 